burnt down before the fire engine gets here. Everything, come along, come along. Come along. Where is she? Rosie? Your daughter! She's having a music lesson. With all my heart, I call to you. I live to give it all to you. In spite of the cry of a heart that calls to your own. goes on playing. How brave. Who is that young man? <gasps> it is Herr Johann Strauss, my lady. He's very handsome. <laughs> and you've dedicated this to me. Of course. I dedicate all my songs to you and always shall. What a pity they're never published. To raise the Abazada from the composer Johann Strauss. Oh, I should be so proud to have everyone read that. To Therese Strauss from her husband would make me much prouder. I say, do you mind moving? <laughs> oh, thank you. Stand back now. in this window. I'm not prying. I've come to rescue you. From what? Don't you know? The house is on fire. Well, what do you want me to do? Swoon? <laughs> come on. There's not a moment to be lost. Look here, if anybody's going to rescue her, I am. What? After I've risked my life coming up here? Don't fight. We'll all go down the stairs together. No, you've got to be rescued. Stairs are full of smoke. I don't believe it. Put her down. Rachel's not your property. She's going to be, though. Oh, no, she's not. I tell you, she is. I say she's not. I say she is. Now, now look here. me. No, you don't. Oh, Sean, empty. You saved my music. The song you brought me. I mustn't lose that. No. Oh. It'd be a lot safer if you let me climb down myself. to come in but members of the brigade. Oh. Quickly, Apollo, and hook it for me. <laughs> Quick, get me a skirt, please. 
Really? You must not come into my shop in this indecent attire. I have with me a most important customer, the Comtesse Monster. I'm sorry. I ought to remember how particular these great ladies are on the subject of decency. Don't you speak disrespectfully of your betters, my girl. Here. Where's Raisy? In Madame Bouches. Look, the fire is spreading. The fire is out. <laughs> on the window just now. I'm in the burning house. Oh yes, but, but, but the fire's up now, you know. What a pity. So little fire in the world, don't you think? Oh, I don't know what you mean. I mean the sort of fire you put into the song you were playing just now. Oh. Fetch a chair. Was that song you were playing just now? Oh, something I've written myself. You're a composer? No, I, I'm the son of a composer. Won't you sit down? My father's Johann Strauss, you know. Oh, you certainly inherited some of his talent. Well, my father doesn't think so. He, he thinks I should leave composition to my two brothers. He, he sent them to, to Berlin to study under Marbia. And you? Oh, I play second fiddle in my father's orchestra. <laughs> second fiddle. What a depressing position. Yes, but my father's a great man, you know. A great man are peculiar. Mm. Like all great men, he has a peculiar dislike of hearing youth knocking at the door. Oh, but father doesn't have to fear for his reputation. I wonder. Not just yet. I'll see all your models later. Tell me something. Would you like to set some verses of mine to music? Why, yes. I'll get the song published if you will. Could you? Easily. Of course, publishing isn't enough. You must get it sung and played. Do you think your father would conduct it just once with his orchestra? <laughs> something I'd written. He wouldn't dream of it. You might conduct something I'd written. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not a great poetess. But I have a friend who might have influence. When can I have the verses? They're not finished yet. But oh. they will be. Tomorrow, at four. Come and see me. I want to read the verses over to you. So that you can, um, compose the music for them. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Did I scratch you? I'm afraid my nails are rather sharp. No, no, it's quite all right, really. Excuse me, I, I just wanted to thank you for bringing my skirt. Oh, Razy, uh, this lady's been very kind about my music. She's going to try and help me. Really? How very nice of her. Uh, uh, Miss Ebersader, um, the, I mean, do you know uh, Miss Ebersader, the, the, the Countess um, uh, Helga von Stahl? How to do? I was going to help Paul straighten things out. 
I'm glad the fire did so little harm. I wonder how much harm it really did do. Well, uh, goodbye. 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 Until tomorrow. You are ready? Your bath, my lady. Noise. Who woke me up? Go on, clear out of here, all of you. Bring me my bath. Gustav. Oh, I was dreaming that I was fighting a duel in defense of your honor. That was very good of you, darling. Needless to say, I killed my man. Your bath is ready, my lady. I love. Who have you been writing these verses to? What is the man's name? Gustav, please. I'm undressed. What is the man's name? It isn't a man. I wrote those verses to the river Danube. Do you think I am a fool? Well, turn the page over if you don't believe me. Oh, I beg your pardon. They are lovely verses. Your bath, excellent sir. Must I? Very, very pretty. Oh, thank you, Your Excellency. Not you, the poem. Bring those verses to me. The water's getting cold, Excellency. The Countess is talking. What does she say? His Excellency asks what her ladyship says. Her ladyship is working at her verses. She was complaining that there is no rhyme for orange. Her ladyship says there is no rhyme for orange. Certainly there is. Lozenge. His Excellency suggests lozenge. His Excellency suggests lozenge. Idiot. What does she say? 
tell him an excellent suggestion. Her ladyship says an excellent suggestion. Ask him what colour the Danube is. Her ladyship asks what colour the Danube is. Her ladyship asks what colour the Danube is. I don't know. What colour is it? That's Danube water in which your excellency is bathing. I know that, but what is the colour? Mm -hmm. Dirty brown. <laughs> what the devil are you doing out there? Come in here. You are making perhaps a disgusting joke. Excuse me, milady, but are you wearing your blue? Blue! Of course. Why didn't I think of that before? My dear, the Danube never looked blue in its life. Couldn't you make it silver? Silver doesn't rhyme with a single other word in the language. Doesn't it really? You know, you're an extraordinarily clever woman, my dear. Most men wouldn't be able to keep up with you at all. His Excellency is going to the Hofburg this evening. Yes, my lady. At four o'clock, a young man will call. Yes, my lady. He is the only visitor I shall receive. Yes, my lady. Rumpf, I have an idea. Strauss shall set these verses to music. The great Strauss? Of course. What other Strauss is there? Tell your master I will give the verses to Mr. Strauss as soon as the rehearsal is over. Is that Strauss himself? Yes. Do you mind if I have a look before I go? Yes, but don't go in. Good, but he wanted a little more pianissimo in the brass. But it'll do. Tomorrow at ten. Is it true, Master, that you're writing a new waltz for the fate? Well, I don't know. I set myself a difficult standard when I wrote the Lorelei waltz. How can anyone hope to write a waltz like the Lorelei? No one should try to write one like it. One should try to write one better. What's that you said? Only that the... Only that the soul of music is greater than any composer, however great. I said that the next man to write a waltz should try to write one better than the Lorelei waltz. I see. You don't share the general enthusiasm for my compositions. Oh, you're wrong. Nobody loves your music more than I, I do, but... But every art must march forward. It can't afford to stand still and admire. March forward, you say? You think then I'm already at a standstill? Perhaps even a back number? Oh, you misunderstand me. And who are the leaders of this march? Are you one of them? <laughs> I understand you were thrown out of your lodgings last month. Because your neighbours couldn't stand listening to your abortive improvisations? Sit down there. Go on. Let's have one of your compositions. No. I see. You're afraid to play for musicians. No, I'm not. Magnificent. Such masterly contempt for form. March forward, indeed. <laughs> Bring me the laurel crown the Emperor placed on my head and I'll give it to him. <laughs> Why are you taking your violin? Because I'm not coming back. Well, don't be a fool. His Excellency sent this to you with the recommendation that you use it as the basis for a new song. Hmm? What? Oh. Oh, His Excellency is a fool. Shh, Herr Director. Oh, you're a German, and in Germany you worship titles. Here in Vienna, artists are greater than princes. At night when the moon is above. 
you whisper a lullaby. It's you, only you, that I love. For you alone I sigh. No use, I, I haven't an idea. Oh, but I thought that was rather good. No, it wasn't. I have no confidence in myself. All I can think of is what my father said to me when I played my song to him. Which song was that? The song your little friend was singing? I'm in the pastry cook's daughter. No, it, it was a different one. This one. Oh, no, but I thought that was very good. Let's hear it again. Really? Yes. Sing it. All right. <coughs> <laughs> like a star in the sky, you were sent as my guide, and the fates I'll defy with you by my side. things like that, I really begin to believe in myself. Now I know I can write your song. Her ladyship is at home. She has a young man with her. A young man? The Herr Strauss sent this back. Why is the paper in this condition? I sat on it. Oh, so you sat on it, did you? Herr Strauss said it was no good. Oh, and so that is why you sat on it. Eh? Because Herr Strauss said it was no good. I tell you, these words are a work of art. And yet Herr Strauss said that they are no good. Don't be alarmed. What's that? I can manage him. Play something. He said he'd never have the name of Strauss or such rubbish. The impertinence. Does he not know I am a cousin of the late Empress? <laughs> Thank you, Excellency. Will that be all? For the moment, yes. But wait till I meet Strauss. Gustav, what a pleasant surprise. This is Herr Strauss. Strauss? That nincompoop? Oh, I, I beg your pardon. You are not Strauss, the bandmaster. Bandmaster? His father would like to hear that. Oh? So it is the son, huh? Mr. Strauss is setting my words to music. Is he really? 
Then the name of Strauss will appear on them after all, huh, my good fellow? <laughs> <laughs> There's no one looking. Even I have my eyes closed. I told Father we're in love with each other. What did he say? Just what I expected. He asked how you were going to support me. Oh, well, I can start you off in bread and milk, same as he did. Oh. <laughs> he set his heart on having a son-in-law who'll go into the business with him. What, me, a pastry cook? Well, I do see <laughs> his side of it. After all, Ebersaders has been handed down through four generations. What's that? What's that, you say? You ought to see our old ledgers. Do you realize the last thing Metternich ate was a dozen of the famous Ebersader chocolate rolls? And he died. Of course he died. He sent for them so that he could die happy. Look, do you see that coffee stain on the wall over there? Yes, I've often wondered why he didn't wash it off. Wash it off? Do you realize the great painter Winterhalter did that? Hmm. Yes, it isn't one of his best works, is it? Don't be funny. He threw his coffee at General Radetzky. You know, the man your father wrote a march about. March? I wonder. No, 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 it's no good that Danny doesn't play in march time. What on earth are you talking about? Oh, I've got some verses, a set of music. You mean you've got a commission? Yes. Oh, that's grand. And the song's going to be published. That's understood. Very wonderful verses. It's a good idea. You know, the man who wrote this must be clever. Hi. No, wait a minute. What was that phrase you played that I like so much? Oh, I don't know. I do. Look, it just fits. What? Danube so blue, so blue, so blue. Remember? Yes. Da 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 da. Yes, yes, that is what I want. Yes, that is exactly. I should never have thought of it intended to be for you. If only you could finish it. I'll finish it, don't worry. Now I've got something to work on. Come on. So this is what you call work. Come here a minute. Here, I won't have this. Why, your mother didn't allow me to kiss her until six months after we were married. Now I know why you were over 50 when I was born. <coughs> oh, oh, this is dreadful. This is awful. That's what becomes of allowing you to associate with artists and musicians. Go away, young man. Oh, but Charlie came to look over the bakery. What? I told him what you said, that, that any young man who wants to marry me must be prepared to carry on ever Are you really interested? Tremendously. Good. Then I'll show you over the bakery now, if you like. Oh, well, uh, just at the moment, I... He'd be delighted, wouldn't you? He was afraid it was bothering you too much. But it isn't, is it? <laughs> no. Wood. Dark. Bread. These are the famous Eversader chocolate rolls. The great Metternich died with one in his hand. Ah, I see you're a student of history. Now come along and I'll show you our famous ovens. This one over here, and that one there. Here's the one. From out of the west, you roll to the sea. What's that? Cold to the sea? 
Um, no, no, the, the, the rolls. The rolls? May I see where you make the rolls? Oh, certainly. Now, now, these are the rolls, and this is where we make them. Of course, these are not our best. I think he's one Listen of those... Listen to this. I've just composed a song here in your bakery. Danube so blue, so blue, so blue. I've been showing you how the famous Ebersade chocolate rolls are made. You're composing a silly song. I know, I'm sorry, but I've just been thinking... It's sacrilege, that's what it is. Good gracious me. I've shown the very best of musicians through this bakery. Franz Schubert. Why, I brought him down here. He was writing the unfinished symphony at the time. But did he try to finish it? No. He ate cakes. And so will I. I'm so sorry. Hmm? Do go, I'm all attention. What's that? Oh, that's a dough mixing machine. <coughs> uh, invented by my great grandfather. Uh, uh, Leopold, show him how it works. I'm busy. Do as I tell you. Come and show him how it works. And hurry up. <laughs> that's it. Faster. There. That's the right tempo. As you roll along, I can hear your song. It enthralls me, and it calls me. It enthralls you, does it? Indeed it does, yes. Uh, just a little faster, please. What are you doing? Your shining silver band, reaching far across the land. In my hands, I'll always see. Oh, yeah, I've arranged the verses, all of them. Oh, the song. Did you see all through the bakery? No, no, I was too excited. Oh, I do hope you haven't offended Father. I, no, I don't think so. Listen. Danube, so blue, so blue, so blue. Shh, you mustn't sing here. Well, come along with me, then. Yeah, I can't leave the shop. Shop? What does the shop matter? Well, it matters as much as your old song. Yes, suppose it does. Where are you going? Back. Back to the man who wrote the verses. <laughs> oh dear. I suppose I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's your wonderful music. I hope you didn't mind. No. No, of course not. <laughs> Go on, play me some more. This is the second movement. This is the best song you've ever written. But, but it's really you I have to thank, for having remembered that first phrase. Well, you can show your appreciation for my good memory by dedicating it to me. Yes. You sound as if you didn't want to. Well, haven't I dedicated all my songs to you? Yes, but this is the one I want especially. It would be even more valuable if Father would only play it in public. Yeah, I will publish it, of course, if you ask me to. I wanted to do more than that. 
I wanted to get Charlie's father to include it in the program of his orchestra. Oh, impossible. It must be done, Drexler. The prince demands it. Dear lady, you know to what lengths I would go for you and his excellency. But no man living can make Strauss do anything. You're afraid of him. Oh, afraid of him? No. I told him how wrong he is to hold a grudge against his own yes. son. But it's useless. Yes, Charlie made a great mistake. He hurt his father's vanity. Exactly. Well, we must try fair means. But if we don't succeed, then we must be more daring. No wonder they say that you're a dangerous woman. <laughs> Not dangerous to you, Drexler. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Is he here? Herr Strauss, yes. He's rehearsing his men for the opening of the Domaya Gardens. Gentlemen, that F sharp must be accentuated. It's not in the least what I want. Now listen, give me the song and I'll show it to Mr. Strauss. No, please. Mayn't I give it to him myself? I'm a friend of someone very close to him. Very well, but you mustn't interrupt him. Stay quite quiet until he's finished. Hello, Shani. Have you come to see your father? No, I've come to see Mr. Drexler. Mm, I think he has a lady with him. Yes, I know. They expect me. What is it you want? I want to ask if you won't please play this number with your orchestra. Did my son send you with this? No. He doesn't know anything about it. Well, are you his sweetheart? Yes. But we're going to be married, I hope, one day. Well, if you hope that, you better tell him to find himself a job he understands. That isn't fair. You don't know. You haven't played it yet. I don't have to play it. I can read. Absolute rubbish. You think you're the only one who knows anything about music. Leave that music. From the commencement. Just has to look over your shoulder. Perhaps another coffee would be more convenient. I don't understand. This isn't the same song. This is dedicated to Miss Ebezeda. What do you mean? <laughs> well, Rathia, I, I, I meant to tell you, you see, it, it is the same song. The, the Countess von Stahl wrote the words. Please don't have me cause any trouble. If your little friend wishes you to dedicate the song to her, by all means, do so. No, I don't want it. I don't ever want to hear it again. Ready. Well, now, perhaps you can play the song over to Mr. Drexler. Oh, but I can't let her go like that. I came here to try and help you. 
I know, and I'm very grateful, but, but there are some things which are even more important than success. That isn't the speech of a man determined to succeed. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Please forgive me. What a fool. To let a girl like that ruin his chances. Young love is rather fine. Oh, don't. You're a silly sentimentalist. Dear lady, never before have I seen you lose your beautiful serenity. You needn't trouble any more about this song, Drexler. I'll let you hear it through once. Then we'll put it on the fire. Oh, Razy, stop, please. You, you must let me explain. Now. Well, listen, Razy, I'll, I'll give up my music altogether. It's the only thing to do. You mean you... Really give up your music for me? Of course I will. You mean more to me than, than, than ambition or anything. Sean. Oh, I love you so much. I've been so miserable. Crazy. Come on, let's go and find your father and tell him about it. No, dear lady, we will not burn that. I will get Shani to orchestrate it. That song is going to live. Johann Strauss. Oh, yes. Who is it from? My lady asked me not to mention her name. Don't worry. I know her name. The Countess Helga von Stark. I know another name for her, too. Only I'm too much of a lady to say it. you. Thanks. I wonder what she means. She means to get your scalp to hang at her belt. If she can find room for it. Listen to what she says. I'm not interested in what she says. Very well. So, it's all a big secret, is it? Of course it isn't a secret. She wants me to go to the St. Stephen's Festival with her. She says she has a wonderful surprise for me. Listen. If you go to the St. Stephen's Festival, I'll never speak to you again. Now, until you said that, I had no idea of going. What do you mean? Well, I won't be dictated to. I'm not dictating to you. I'm warning you. If I want to go to the festival, I shall go. All right, then. But you know what it'll mean. Now, listen, Razie. I've given up everything for you. All my dreams. And now I've started on a career as an artist in chocolate cakes and gilded gingerbread. I know you're miserable here. You don't need to tell me. I know I don't make up to you for your music. I never said that. No, but I can see it. Why don't you go back to it then? Back to her. You say she can help you. He'll never make a baker. He hasn't his heart in it. If he goes to that fate with her. Fate? What fate? Oh, of course. That reminds me. We've been asked to take over the catering for the big festival St. Stephen's. <laughs> it's a big order. had no further interest in our young composer. I must confess I was amazed. But you can't let genius waste in a confectioner's shop. Ah. Or his embraces wasted on a confectioner's daughter. Drexler? Insufferable. 
<laughs> oh, you do take sugar, don't you? One thing. Good. I'm an old man. Let me enjoy my senile pleasantries. Just because I'd like to help a young musician, you needn't think... No, 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 of course not. Besides, if I did think so, I should keep it to myself. It'd be no help to the young musician to be shot by a jealous Prince Gustave. You've given me an idea. The Prince shall help us with our scheme. My word, you're daring. He's taken a violent dislike to old Strauss. He'd love to join in a joke against him. Gustav. Uh. Uh, pistols at 25 paces. Gustav! Uh, oh, then I did not kill him. <laughs> that is about the 50th duel I have fought in defense of your honor. Gustav, come here. I want to tell you something. Hello, Johan. Ah, oh, good evening. Bad evening for the fate. Oh, it's only a heat storm. <laughs> It'll clear up. Oh, always the optimist. Uh, listen. Mm? I come here to drive you to Prince Gustav. I've no time to go to Prince's. I've got to go to the fete. Oh, nonsense. You've got plenty of time. I don't think so. Why, it's only half past seven. Hmm? Is it? Yes, well, anyway, I don't want to go to the Prince's. I've got to play my new march tonight for the first time. All the critics will be there. The Prince was very emphatic. Really? He says he wants to talk to you about an order that the Emperor was thinking of bestowing on you. Really? Franz Josef, do you suppose? Oh, hardly. Either the Order of Leopold or the Order of the Eagle. Well, at least it should be a Maria Theresa. Tell him that's what you want. The Prince has great influence at Schoenbrunn. Has he? Very well. I'll come. We've got 40 minutes to spare. Will you come this way up, Mr. Strauss? His Excellency wishes to speak to you privately. That must be a message from the Emperor. Supposing I run over to the fate and tell them that you'll be there very shortly? No, 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 it isn't necessary. Plenty of time. Strauss isn't here yet. Can I wait? I want him to sign my autograph book. All right, but he won't be here for half an hour. What a business we're doing. Ten barrels of beer gone already. Tonight will go down in the history of music. 
who you're looking for. Tell me, Leopold, did you see Shani amongst the people? No, and I don't want to. Oh, don't be so miserable. I can't help it. That's the way I feel. If you hear a noise like somebody crying, it's me laughing. Oh, don't be so silly. You'll find a girl someday twice as attractive as I am. And that's what I'm worrying about. If you won't have me, what chance have I got with her? Good evening, dear ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, Countess. Have you brought the maestro with you? Uh, he'll be here very soon. Good. I was getting a little anxious. He often plays in my garden, but he's never been there yet. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you the great Johann Strauss. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, Herr Strauss, won't you please play the Lorelei Wars for us? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't just now. You see, I haven't much time. She has great influence with the Emperor. Oh, well, perhaps I can, Fräulein. <laughs> Never mind about that. Get on with the work. I can manage, thank you. I've come to help you. You'd better go back to the lady. You were escorting. I'm not escorting any lady. But I just saw her. She didn't come with me. I suppose you dressed yourself up like that to help with the refreshments. No, I didn't. I thought I'd come as a guest, as the Countess asked me to. But after I saw you, I thought I'd change my mind. I don't believe you. <laughs> here, Carl, come here. There. There, is that better? Oh, Shani, I've been a little beast. No, we, we aren't going to fight anymore, are we? Not if you promise to keep away from that Countess. I promise. Oh, Shani, I do love you so much. <laughs> Darling, what are you laughing at? <laughs> you always say that after we've had a quarrel. Oh, I can't help it. <laughs> What's this? Are you serving the customers or him with the refreshments? Now look here, young man. Are you here for the concert or for work? You've got to make up your mind once and for all. Either you're a musician or a confectioner. He's made up his mind long ago. He's chosen confectionery and me. <laughs> Now, get to work. See what those customers want over there? Where? Over there. I never saw the master so late before, and I've been with him over 20 years. This blue denim of young Strauss's, is it to be the first number? It's arranged like way on the music stand. There's another funny thing. The master playing that, after all he said about it. Where's Strauss? I didn't come here to drink all the evening. If Strauss doesn't come soon, I suggest we go and demand our money back. Shiny. Good, good evening. Shiny. Stay here a moment, please. Oh, but I can't, thank you. I, I, I'm helping to serve here. Put down that tray and listen to us. This is the moment of your life. You're to go at once. 
and conduct your Blue Daniel. But my father's consented. Yes. He's giving you this chance. The orchestra, they don't know it. Yes, they do. I rehearsed them in it myself. You rehearsed them? But I thought you said my father arranged this. Yes, but after what he said about your waltz in front of his orchestra, his pride wouldn't allow him to rehearse it himself. I don't know what to say. This isn't the time to say anything. This is the time to act. Listen to that. Mr. Drexler, where's Strauss? You're his manager, you should know. Here is Mr. Strauss. Is this a joke? This is Johann Strauss, Jr. He will conduct his own waltz. I suggested you go on the bandstand and announce it. Wait a minute. I can't. Yes, he will. You can't. I must speak to Raisin first. You have not time to speak to anyone. You must play before your father gets here or not at all. Go on, Shani. This is your great chance. After him now. From the very beginning, you made up your mind to take him away from me. Yes, I would like to take him away from you, but not in the way you mean. If he listens to you now, he'll never amount to anything. You've told him that? Yes, frankly, I have. And I think that after tonight, he'll have the sense to realize that it's true. You needn't worry. After tonight, I've finished with him. You can have him. His music, his love, everything.
Watch this one. Well, why do you speak to me like that? Because tonight I've learned what I should have known all along. That your way and mine can never be the same. Oh, Rosie, how can you say that to me now? At this moment? Because I mean it. Go back to her. She can help you. She can make you a great man. Who planned this meeting? Drexler? They told me it was arranged with your permission. I don't believe it. This is the work of your fashionable mistress. I'm extremely sorry if I've offended you. Mr. Strauss, they want you to play the waltz again. Well, something else then, you must have other things. You realize what you're saying? That is still my orchestra. Listen to the people calling for me. I beg your pardon, Mr. Strauss, they're not calling for you. But for your son. You will live, you see. Yes. I was late. I'm behind hand, in youth is still four. <laughs> the late Strauss and his illustrious son. Play to them then, fickle, brainless idiots. I won't. Oh, don't talk like that. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. Hurt me? Do you think I'm made of stuff as soft as you? Where's Rosie? Gone. Gone? Gone where? Home. Rosie hasn't gone home. She's out helping her father collect the dishes. Well, I know that. Johnny. This is my father's. They're coming to Maya's office. The Countess is waiting for you. No, I'm going home. My dear boy, after all, it's through her that you've had this great success. Yes, through a trick. I should realize it was a lie when she told me my father arranged it. Oh, you needn't worry about your father. I just told him that you had nothing to do with the idea. He won't believe you. Come on, come on, let's celebrate. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, No, I can't really, thanks. Oh, he's going home to his sweetheart. Well, she must be a wonderful girl if she inspired him to write that waltz. Well, I'm a wonderful girl, and what have you ever done? <laughs> Where does he live, Drexler? Shani? Somewhere in the Shulgasser, I think. I'm not sure. You're not going there tonight? Yes, I am. Here. Listen, do you know where Mr. Strauss lives? The son, I mean. Yes. In the little alley, by the church at the top of the Shulgas. The one with the green vines. Thank you. Well, she's gone to join him. What are you talking about? Shani and the Countess. Do you think it makes any difference to me? And I'm afraid we are too late for the amusements. <laughs> Good evening, Excellency. Ah, the Mayor, what has happened? Did you hear the Blue Danube? Hear it, Excellency. The greatest triumph I've seen in my lifetime. There, what did I tell you? A masterpiece, I said it was. And the words? I helped to write them. A Danube so blue, <laughs> so blue, so blue. <laughs> ah, Herr Strauss, uh, congratulations on your clever son. And congratulations to your Excellency on your clever... on the clever Countess von Stahl. Ah, the verses you mean. Uh, you were wrong when you sent them back to me. I was not thinking of the verses, Your Excellency nor of the way she made a fool of me tonight. Her masterpiece is the way she's made a fool of you. How dare you? Please, what do you mean? Why do you think she wanted to help my son? Because of her interest in art. And she's gone to see him now so that they can talk art? Gone? I don't believe you. She's here. She promised to wait for me. Good night, Excellency. Where is she? Where is the Countess? Where is she? She was here just now. I did not ask you where she was just now. I, I think she's gone. 
gun? Is she but where? She promised to wait for me. Oh, I don't know, Excellency. I saw her speaking to Eversader's boy, and, and then she passed me and said good night. Which boy? Are you suggesting that Eversader's boy means anything to her? Of course not, Excellency. She was asking him some question. Well, which boy is it? Where is he? The boy at the refreshment bar. Uh, the one with the, with the white cap. Uh, here, hold this. Where is the Countess von Stahl? Would you really like to? No. Don't you grin at me, you little ape. I assure you, Excellency, it isn't a grin. Merely a smile of politeness. Do you know where the Countess is? It, she's gone to the apartment of young Strauss. Liar! It's the truth. She asked me for the address. What is the address? You mustn't tell him. Uh, what is it? Uh, something house. I, I've, I've forgotten the number. I've, I've forgotten the name. It's the top of the Shulgas. Why did you tell him? I'll never forgive you. Never. Something, Ali. I don't know the number. Quick. The Shulgas, you fool. The Shulgas. <laughs> Charlie, I had to come here to tell you how sorry I am. Sorry? Yes. I meant to help you. But instead, I've only hurt you. Haven't I? Will you forgive me? Oh, you, you mustn't talk like that. It, it was very ungrateful of me to go away without thanking you for all you've done. No, I shouldn't have interfered. You were quite happy working in your bakehouse. No, I wasn't. I wasn't really happy. Then love wasn't enough? Quite an it. But it's difficult when you love music as much as I do. At any rate, it's all over now, so we needn't talk about it anymore. You mean everything's finished between you and that little girl? Yes. But, Shani, you can't live without love. Can't you? I'm afraid I don't know much about it. You're so young and unspoiled. It's a pity you won't always remain like that. What do you mean? Even now, you don't realize what a success you've made. When you wake in the morning, you'll find yourself famous. Not famous? Yes. And that's really why I've come here tonight. You'll never be the same, Charmy, again. Why do you speak to me like that? I shan't be any different. You're very young. You'll have the world at your feet. Well, even if it's true, I... I shan't forget that it's you I owe it to. Here, hold it. Who is it? Can you see anybody? I don't know. It's a carriage. you're talking about. Look here, if you want to fight, I don't know what it's all about, but send me your, send me your seconds. Uh, seconds? Yes, it shall be. Swords, pistols, anything you like. Anything I like? It is her scarf. The Countess's is scarf. It's not hers. is a happy man tonight.
I beg your pardon. got here ahead of us. Helga! I hope you've offered Mr. Strauss the hearty congratulations he deserves. Why, of course. You all right? I'm so glad. All that has happened tonight has meant nothing to me because because I thought I'd lost you. Please, Mr. Strauss, may I have your autograph? Just a minute.